To contrast the Singleton with a, another design pattern that it's commonly confused with, the factory, let's go through the two side by side so you can see the differences. A Singleton will return the same instance every time. There is a one constructor method with no arguments. And notice how I label that as constructor method. You're, the constructor is always private, so you can't get access to it. So we have to access that through a construction method. And then there is typically no interface. Since this is a private constructor and a private instance inside of it, we don't expose an interface to help us adapt to different types of objects return. A factory, on the other hand, returns various instances. And as the name implies, it returns multiple objects of various types. It also has multiple constructors because we're asking for those various types. There's different construction methods for us to get those instances back. It is usually interface driven. It's the opposite. We want to abstract out the back end and some of those things that we're returning. So we usually do expose an interface with a factory. So it's a lot easier to unit test and a lot easier to work with. It also has the ability to adapt to environments more easily than the singleton does. So when you're looking at a singleton and it's not quite fitting, think about the factory and what the factory brings to the table. And some of these comparisons may help you in choosing a factory over a singleton or a singleton over a factory.